Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're going to be going for the next big milestone, big city. No, that's what we already are, grand city. That's what we want. Then we can put in a baseball park and a bunch of other stuff that's cool too. Actually, our electricity isn't as bad as I thought it was. I wonder if maybe it's just windy out. Eh, it's normal. You know what, we've got good days and bad days as far as power goes. Maybe we just use a lot of power at night. That might actually be what it is. That does make a lot of sense. We don't have enough educated workers. We will soon. Don't worry. It looks like we're going to need more office buildings, though. So what I'm thinking is, since we already have an intersection here that's causing us to have a traffic stop, we may as well turn that into a four-way, since it's not its not doing anything to help. The, the traffic lights are up regardless. So that's, that's why I'm doing this, this little four-way road here. Or this, the, yeah, that's why I'm doing the four-way intersection there. And then this one here, we may as well build that there to there. Because that's already, that's a six-way to a four-way. Right, okay. I've done this correctly. And then within, we're going to build a little grid. They don't need to have trees. Okay, and then that is not part of this district. In fact, we want this to be its own district. What is Rosewood Hills? That's wall-to-wall. -wall. Yeah, we don't want this to be wall-to-wall. -wall. Up here, we want this to be its own district for offices. Maybe an IT cluster will go over here. That could be fun. We do an IT cluster there, and then over here, once we get around to it, we'll do some sort of different type of office layout. I haven't decided what that means yet, or what that's going to look like, but it will be different. So the Smith District is going to be, as far as offices go, IT cluster. And this is normal cluster, so we don't even have to, we don't even have to flag specialization there. But for now, we're just filling in the Smith District here. And in fact, this might be a nice little spot for a park. Maybe not a dog park. No, not that kind of park. Maybe a parking lot? Okay, I think that's going to be pleasant. Sroxa, you forgot to run the pipes. You're right, thank you. Is it to cover everything? Pretty much. Oh, we got some big buildings coming in. These IT buildings are huge. Okay, this is where people come to work. This is the important place. Now, we need a big fire station, a high capacity fire station. And I kind of want to put it over here. I think I want to put it right here. Now, does that reach most of the city? Most of the city already seems to have coverage. Sure, we'll just put that in there. And then eventually we'll get in some police stuff. There's some big buildings here that we don't want burning down. Oh, I missed a... I missed a tiny little area with the pipes there. There we go. Those are cute. I like those buildings. Okay, we do have a garbage collection issue, which means we need to think about that. How do we want to handle that? I'm thinking we take this road out here to the outskirts of town, and I think we put in a dump. <laughs> I think that's how we deal with this issue. We put in a... Oh, what is that? An incineration plant. We will probably want to do that. This, this, this is going to need water and power. So that looks good for now. And this incineration plant's only going to cost us about 30 grand, so we'll save up for that. That won't take long at all. And while we're waiting for that, we can actually zone out more of this area here for tourism. Now, it says that we need more educated workers, it looks like, but that will eventually fix itself. That's that's not a real problem. That's just a... we need we need to give people time to fulfill that, that requirement. How's our little hotel doing? It's making money. How's our dump doing? Everybody's out collecting garbage, so I assume it's working. Nobody's complaining. In fact, buildings are leveling up, which is always a great sign. We could do something to help that, too. We could put in a, a park over here. Ah, oh, the people are the people are rejoicing. Now, where else? These office districts need, a, need more parks as well. Honestly, what about one just big park right here? They love it. They're upgrading like mad. This whole area is going crazy. We don't have enough power for them. That's how insane things are right now. We need more power. I think it's time for the solar updraft tower, and since we already built this area, why don't we just put it right out here? Boom, just like that, and we're generating massive amounts of power, and that should be getting its water. What are you complaining about? All right, we'll, we'll run water right underneath you. How's that? Is that better? Are you happy? Not enough water? What do you mean? Is the water not pumping that far, that hard? Was that a power issue? It is entirely possible that what's happening here is they're sucking that area dry, so why don't we move one of those? over here and we'll connect those to each other and we'll connect those to the pipes and we'll connect those to the power not with another solar updraft tower though that would be silly does that help yes that's just a really thirsty tower so the way that works is it i don't know solar updraft it's creating wind ah i see i don't quite see well i don't know 
I think what happens is this makes the air underneath it hot, and then the hot air wants to rise, and it goes up through here and it turns the turbines. I don't know. I don't actually understand anything. A lot of these buildings are abandoned, and that's just because we don't have enough, yeah, we don't have enough really educated people here. Which might mean that it's time for us to build a university, which is, which is fun. Build a full campus and everything. We just don't have any universities, I don't think. So maybe a university right here. Would I put it there? Oh no, look at this. We got a traffic congestion problem. That might just be because people are trying to get to specific places and they can't do it quick enough. Maybe we break this, put in a interchange. We got the money. A three-way intersection here. Sorry to all those cars that are now floating there. I'm thinking we do something like that. And then, this one here can run way out here. And maybe it actually goes right to there. And then for this one here, if you want to leave, let's see if that janky highway helps. I see cars taking it, so that's a good sign. It could just be that maybe this needs to become, like, big highway too. Can we do, like, a six? No, that's four. Four. What kind of, what kind of crazy highways can we do? Four-lane two-way highways? Oh, now this is not connected, of course. Can it be emptied? Yes. Somehow. We just need to empty this cemetery so we can move it to a real road. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. This is all going to work out fine in the end. Don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. In fact, this is a good opportunity for us to build our high-capacity police headquarters, too, I think. Is that what that is? This little building here? Why is it smaller? Well, whatever. You know what? I'm not going to argue. Can we give them the supercars? And I want this one to have luxury hearses when we move it. Oh, man. Everything's upgrading like crazy. Yeah, we do have a pretty significant education problem, but that's not an issue. I still haven't decided where I want to put... Okay, the highway. The highway problem is solved. So at least that's not something to be worried about. Now we can move the, the, the graveyard, and I'm thinking I put it right here, and then we'll open that up. Well, some people don't like that, so... Oh, they were sad that I got rid of it, and then happy that I put it back, so... In the end, everything's perfectly balanced. Oh, was that it? We just hit Grand City? Well, that was fast. Let's keep going, because I wanted to start the university zone. What kind of university do we want? A trade school? A liberal arts school? What's this one? University campus area. Reach a population of 36,000. Well, maybe we're not ready for that yet. Maybe we are just ready for a liberal arts college, though. Let's do that. Let's put in a liberal arts college, and we'll put it right here. It's going to be adorable. How do I start this? Create a campus area. True. How do I do that? I see. I understand everything. So we can always change the size of this as we need to, but for now, that is our campus area. Oh, I have to paint a separate campus area. Never mind. What I've learned here is that I don't know anything. Let's try that again. So we have to paint a campus area which is separate from anything else. So we're going to do this. Done. And now what that means is we can put in a liberal arts administration building. Boom. Just like that, the Robin Institute of Humanities exists in this world. And now the crazy stuff begins where we can put in walking paths for pedestrians as well as roads. So, I mean, we can run some roads around this area and we might do that. But let's do, let's do the fancy stuff. I'm going to build a square around it. I don't know if this is going to be, and then I'm going to run a couple driving roads through it like so. But most of it, I think, is going to be walking paths. But anyway, we need some dorms and I think we want the dorms to have access to the driving roads. In fact, most things are going to have access to the driving roads for now until I... This might not even be a big enough area to require pedestrian paths. That's okay. I don't mind that. If that's that's how it ends up being, that's fine. It's still an adorable little university zone or college zone. A little campus. Let's just connect these. Sure, it's a little bit smaller. Whatever. It's not important. Put in a study hall. Here we go. This is what I want to do. I'm put in these paths like this. How does this work? Can they not connect to roads? Is that... I see, okay. So there's some walking paths. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get rid of this road. You know what, let's get rid of most of these roads. We'll end it like that, there we go. You need to get on a path. What is this weird intersection of paths? Stop that. Are they different types of paths? Is that what's happened here? Oh, now I've done it. Okay, there's just a weird break in the path for some reason there, that's fine. No power, fair enough. Liberal arts groundkeeping. Well, that can just go right here. Drama club? Sure. I'll put that over here in campus. And then that's all that we can build right now. I guess we could put in a couple more dormitories over here if we wanted to. I don't really want to, though. If we're going to put them anywhere, they're going to be connected to this road where you can drive in. That's my intuition on what makes the most sense. And then can those actually connect by paths? 
Mm, that's confusing. I'm gonna say no. That's not how those work. Ooh, look at these awesome parking spots. Beautiful. Don't look too close. All right, so we've got our education system set up, and that should help with these buildings here having a problem getting people to work in them. Maybe what we need are some generic offices. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to build some generic offices in here, and then that's probably going to wrap it up, to be honest. Alright, we get our offices placed. These are just normal offices, where people can just go do normal work. No special IT offices, no nothing like that, where nobody's educated enough to work. There's a traffic problem again. How is this continuing to happen? It's people trying to get out of the offices. How have I caused this issue? Is it a bus that's causing the problem? This bus doesn't want to move? Is that really the problem? No, cars are moving. What do you want, a faster way out? A bypass. We're gonna put in a little bypass here. Probably a two lane. See if that helps. That might help because then they can get back onto this highway. They might just be trying to go over here. Well, I didn't see anybody go that way, but it cleared it up, so... Can't really complain too much. What's their traffic look like? 87? I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, we've got no power. Fair. How are we looking? We've got more students than we can hold. Campus attractiveness needs help. How are we gonna, how are we gonna fix that? Let's add... Well, first of all, we can give an, a research grant here. A 50 grand for... I mean, we can give more than that. Cinematography. All right. Funding granted. And also, really quickly, just to make this place not too hideous, let's put in a... a basketball court. And a tennis court. No, no tennis court. Yeah, we'll put in a tennis court. And whatever this is. Chipper balloons tours. Sure, everything's solved now. Are you happy now? Well, that'll eventually solve itself. What's going on over here? We didn't- we didn't pipe any water? Of course not. Why would we? You don't need water. To run an office. What kind of office are you running? There you go. Problem solved. Hopefully. So yeah, we do have still not not enough customers. Oh, that's an even worse problem. Zone more residential. Okay. That's an easy to solve problem. So I don't think my bypass really solved anything, but it still helped for some reason. Can we put in some big landmark maybe? An oriental pearl tower? Wouldn't that be cool if we could stick it right there? We can't, but wouldn't that be cool? Tourism. This is a big touristy, touristy looking building, isn't it? Maybe we put it right here on this corner. It is a grand office building. Look at that thing. That thing is ridiculous. What a dumb building. I kind of like it though, I think it fits there. Especially once we start to fill in around it. Wow, we're starting to look really nice. I'm starting to really like the look of our... I like our little campus, I think it's cute. I mean, it could use a little bit more natural decor probably. Those are tiny. All these trees are tiny. Large trees. Oh, those are actually the largest. What about some palm trees? There we go. Put in some California palms. How do you like that? There you go. How do you feel about that in your, your little campus area? Some palm trees. I think that's adorable. It's like no other palm trees anywhere. Coconut trees. I want those over here. There we go. I turned that little park into an oasis. That's adorable. I've done it. I've done the great thing. Alright, things are looking cool. That building is actually looking super cool. Look at that thing in the rain. You can see that from basically anywhere. In fact, you can probably see that all the way from back here. If you're working on the farm. There it is. I thought that was a meteor or something. That's a balloon. It's a tour balloon. That's from the balloon tours. Alright, I'm happy with the progress that we've made so far. At Akio, we've been making the best in mobile phones for over 20 years. How did we get there? By putting ringtones in every commercial that make you think your phone is ringing. Whether you have a new phone, an old phone, or just leave it on vibrate, we make sure you always hear your phone in our commercials. It's our way of saying, we hear you. So don't be silenced when opportunity calls, pick it up. It's for you. Akio Mobile. At Banhammer Bank, we want you to trust us with your money. Because it's with your money that we can make you more money. How? It's not funny business, it's money business. You give your money to us and it will grow with interest. That's the plan at least. Maybe that's too complicated for you. Imagine planting a money tree in the ground and watering it. Hold on, imagine if you had a money pet and you fed it more money and after digesting it would... Uh, okay, you wanna go money fishing so you use a little money to catch a big money. You know, just come in and talk to us. We have even more metaphors that allow us to avoid saying what we really do with your money. Van Hammer Bank. Feed the money monster. 
Stay cheese. It's Cheese Week at Big Bite Burgers and Fries. All this week, in addition to our regular menu, try our all-you-can-eat signature sides, like our famous bowl full of melted cheese, served steamy and bubbling. It's the bottomless chubbler. Or our New Orleans-inspired pork sandwich, the Pig Cheesy. And our signature flagship, the spicy blue cheese top jalapeno cheese blucher. Mmm, so hurry in and get them while they last. After all, why take a little bite when you can take a big bite? Can you hear it? Listen closely. It's the sound of refreshment. Pop soda refreshment. Ah, pop soda. Belch the best. Coffee. Fuel of the modern economy. The age-old Italian tradition of burning beans and drinking the bitter bean juice. At Burn Bean Coffee, our environment is perfect for all of your work needs. There's no better place to be distracted than the Burned Bean Coffee Shop and Cafe. Our coffee technicians are trained to make a variety of coffees and sugary coffee-themed drinks just as you like it. All while generally making more noise than anyone could reasonably ignore. So drink up and let the productivity flow. Sippy sip, coffee fans. Burned Bean Coffee. Get it while it's hot. Due to recent court actions, we are required to warn against the drinking of hot coffee. Colossal Ore. We are the leading producer of minerals, ore, and natural resources, which means you're benefiting from our services whether you know us or not. No matter what our critics say, at Colossal we care about our employees as well as our customers, which is why we work so hard to get our miners back in the mines where they feel at home. Together, we can reunite minerals with the people who love them. Colossal ore. More than ore. And with that, I think we wrap it up here. This is just going to take time to go through the academic year and level up over time. And slowly we'll, we'll fill in this. We might even have to expand it beyond what it currently is. But our little tourism area is doing alright, even though it doesn't have enough workers, and we're not making any money over here. Not enough buyers for the products over here. That's fine. We will fill those requirements eventually. We're making a ridiculous amount of money, so I'm not too worried. There's a little bit of garbage collection issues, but that's fine. That'll get resolved. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for more City Skylines. I hope you're enjoying this. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to name a street after you as well, because we're still doing that. Alright, thank you. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.